welcome you to Face to Face. I'm Evangelist Nathan Morris. On today's Face to Face, we have such two special guests. You're going to be truly blessed as you hear what God did in their lives. Just incredible testimony. Today, I have the honor and privilege of welcoming Daniel and Katerina Kobita. They have an incredible testimony. Daniel, welcome to Face to Face. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you're married to Lauren, is that correct? Yeah. How many children do you have? Yeah. We have two children. Two children? Katarina and Jonah. And Jonah. Now, yeah. where are you? I can see an accent there. Where are you originally from? So I was born in Slovakia. Slovakia, yeah. wow. Tell us a little bit about what it was like in Slovakia and really what brought you to the United mm. States. Well, I have a story with it. You know, when I was born, there was a prophetic word over me that during the communism, actually, that your son will be in the United States. He will be traveling nations, preaching. But my parents didn't believe it. Because, as you can imagine, in the communism, to tell someone to be in the United States, that it, it was impossible. So you grew up under communist rule, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But when I was nine years old, the communism fell. And when I was 21, I came to the United States by myself. And, you know, when I arrived in the United States, I start traveling, visiting uh, many conferences, you know, visiting churches. And I had this word over and over. The same thing what I was, what my parents were told when I was born was also told to me wow. over and over here. So wow. God was just giving confirmations that I'm in the right place. How, how old were you when you met your wife, Lauren? So I was in 24. 24 years yeah. old. And you now have two children. Yes. Now. The reason why you're here today is God did a very powerful, powerful miracle Amen. in your family's life. Yeah. Sat next to you today is Katerina. Katerina is 14 years yes. old, right? Yeah. Now, for those of you that don't know, during the Bay of the Holy Spirit revival, we actually went to New Jersey. There were about 5,000 people in that service that night. And there was just an incredible outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So powerful with those meetings. Yeah. Daniel was with his family and they were in desperate need of a miracle. I'm going to take you right now all the way back to 2011, right into these meetings. And you're going to see the testimony of just an incredible miracle that God did in the life of Katerina. Watch this. Katerina is three years old and she has had heart arrhythmia since she was born. She had six heart surgeries and was on medications, but the doctor said she would always have this heart condition. They came to the Bay Revival in New Jersey and received so you, you her. You were in New Jersey? You pray for her actually and my husband was holding her and she was actually slain in the spirit. We felt that she was healed, so we took her off heart medicine. So we called the doctor and we had scheduled to have a follow-up. We took her actually two days ago and they told me that she is more normal than she's ever been and that she no longer needs medicine. Wow, what a mighty God we serve. I saw tears begin to fill your eyes, Daniel, as you yeah. saw that testimony. I think people don't truly realize that for you, this was your precious daughter. Yeah. What was wrong with Katerina? Katerina <clears throat> was born with a heart problem. She had the holes in her heart, so she needed uh, surgery. So she went for operation of her heart. But even after those surgeries, it didn't fix the problem. So she was put on a, also on a very, very strong medication, which helped her heartbeat to keep it steady because it was, you know, waving. It was 200, 100. So it was unstable. And also on top of that, she was also on a feeding tube. Right when she was born, she was put on a feeding tube because she couldn't, the, when she swallowed, even to her lungs. Wow. So she can, you, you bring your family to the meeting in New Jersey. What happened that night? What was your experience? I know on the stage right there, your wife Laurel is sharing what God had done. What happened in that service and how did you know that Katerina had been healed or the Lord had really touched her life? You know, there was really a touchable presence of God, very powerful. Um, it was around 5,000 people. I remember you and Pastor John Kilpatrick were actually pushed back 
Yeah. It was very powerful. And you know, as I was holding Katarina in my in my hands, I felt that God was telling me that she's healed to take it off of medicine. You know, and we took the step of faith because wow. You know, to take it off of medicine, even with the medicine, she was still having episodes. Her eyes used to roll back, you know. She went to hospital many times. The hospital was really a second house, pretty much, to her. And I just took a step of faith, and we watched her very close. And probably after like three weeks, you know, my wife family found out about it. And I'm not surprised about that they were not happy. <laughs> They say, you know, you are not a doctor, you know, you cannot be doing stuff like that, so just go check. And we went to the doctor, and the doctor said everything's perfect. Wow. The holes were gone, and the heart was gone. perfect. So, the, the, were there literal holes in the heart? Yes. And they found that there were no more holes no more there? Holes. Wow. Yeah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Right. And how did that, obviously the, the most obvious thing is to say how did that change your family's life, but obviously to see Katerina here today, you know, a young lady now, but at that moment what did it do for yourself, your wife Lauren, and just for your faith in that God had done this in your daughter's life? You know, Evangelist Nathan, this was the other step of uh, faith for us, you know. Um, it was, our, our faith grew stronger. Because like I mentioned before, we had, uh, she was also on a feeding tube, and she was healed from it also, you know? So there was two powerful miracles. Now, the Lord touched her heart, but you told me before that the, the feeding tube, that was something that God walked you through on a longer yes. basis. So, yes. you know, God touched Katerina and her heart was healed, but yeah. the actual feeding tube was something that was still a walk of faith. Yeah. Talk to us yeah. about that. So when Katrina was born, like instantly she was uh, put on a feeding tube. So they had to do a little surgery, give her like a little, little, little knob and give us a pump. And the only way she could eat was through the tube. Wow. And this was going on for um, over two years. Um, and you know, during the time, God was speaking to me to start praying in the sanctuary every day. And I was like, God, if that's you, Give me a prayer partner. He did. So every day we were praying. And after like a year and a half, we went to go see a doctor for regular checkup. And the doctor had a big screen where he did a live x-ray. And he's like, he did a test. He gave her a little liquid into her mouth. And we were watching on the screen. He said, see, it's still the same. That nothing changed. But I will send you to a specialist. Maybe they can help you. So like two weeks later, we went we been scheduled to see a specialist. As we were praying every day in the church with this prayer partner, with my prayer partner, um, on the day when we were scheduled to see a specialist, he didn't know that we are scheduled. So he said, Daniel, I feel that God is telling me that you and your wife are blocking healing of your daughter because of unbelief. And when he said it, he was so powerful, like, like lightning struck me. It opened my eyes. I ran home, told my wife about this. And as we went to the hospital, I, we just believed that she's ill. So we come to the hospital and I told the specialist, I said, sir, before you do anything, I won't tell you that my daughter is ill. There is nothing wrong with her. And he's looking at me with the nurse like, we are out of our mind. <laughs> because two weeks before it, prior to it, it was a confirmation that she still had the problem. So he took a micro camera, put through her nose down, and he see, I don't see anything. Everything is perfect. Wow. And since that day, she started eating. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. You know, I believe that the Lord is really using you now to speak to families all over the world that maybe needed a miracle, whether it's in their own lives or in their children's lives. Is there anything you would say to them right now that would, just to encourage that what God did for you so, he will do for anyone if we believe in the name of Jesus. You know, my friends, we learned one lesson. God was leading me to read 2 King chapter 4. But there is a story of Elisha and the widow. You know, this widow was in a really hard situation. Not only she lost her husband, but also it says that collectors were on the way. They were already coming for her two sons. So she was about to lose her son. 
she was in a really, really difficult situation. Like there was no hope. But you know, the prophet Elijah came to her and said, how can I help you? And he asked her, what do you have? And she's like, I don't have anything. Just this little flask of oil. Amen. He said, okay, go around, gather all the jars, come in and listen to this, close the door and then start pouring this oil into these jars. Amen. And she's done it and God really spoke to me right there. He highlighted the importance of closing the door because I believe as this woman was going around the neighborhood and asking for these big jars, I believe that these people were wondering, what is she doing? She is going crazy. What is she doing? We want to see what is she doing? Probably looking, you know, through the door, they want to see what is she doing. But I believe that's why God highlighted the close the door. And you know what, my friend, and it's not just in the Old Testament story. That also we see with Jesus in Matthew chapter 9, where Jesus was called to go into a leader of the synagogue house because his daughter was dead. Amen. And Jesus went to her house, to, to his house, and he say, and he seen crowd of people crying because she died. But Jesus said, stop. She is not dead. Amen. She is sleeping. But because they mock him, he say, send them out and then he went in and she was healed and you know my friends i want to encourage you whenever you're facing something impossible when you're waiting for a miracle you know you can be praying like we were praying the church was praying we were praying but we were feeding ourselves on the news. We were feeding ourselves what the doctor told us you know we were feeding ourselves what the research on the computer told us but I believe that God wants to tell you that you would shut the door and you would focus on Jesus Amen. that you put your eyes on him Amen. because he is the final answer yes Lord hallelujah glory to God what a word you're gonna be evangelist huh yeah. you feel the call of God Amen. to ministry right Amen. I see that upon you my brother Katerina it's been so good to have you today are you happy mm -hmm. you love Jesus Thank you. I yes. know you do Katerina you know, that miracle that God did in your life, I believe he's going to use it and already has used it all over the world through your life. Yes. Amen. Yes. Listen, I want to thank you for joining us on Face to Face. I love to hear the real, real testimony of a family that God has just shown his glory. And I know that what God does for one, he will do for all. Yeah. If you just call upon the name of the Lord, as our brother Daniel said, close the door, shut out the lies of the enemy. Those people that say it's impossible. We serve a miracle working God. Thank you so much for being with us this time on Face to Face. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' mighty name. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more? To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.